Hello guys! Welcome to Kapo Teach. This time we're going to talk about opportunity seeking. In this lesson, opportunity seeking, we're going to discuss the following. 3S, opportunity spotting and assessment. Essential to entrepreneurs' opportunity seeking. Sources of opportunities. In the entrepreneurial process, we have here opportunity spotting and assessment. Developing a business plan, determining the capital needed, and running the business. The three S of opportunity spotting and assessment are seeking, screening, and seizing. This is the framework that most of the promising entrepreneurs use to finally come up with the ultimate product or service suited for the specific opportunity. And opportunity is an entrepreneur's business idea that can potentially become a commercial product or service in the future. Opportunity seeking is an endless curiosity to the discovery new or different ideas and see whether these ideas will work in the marketplace. It is also the first step and is the most typical process of all due to the number of options that the entrepreneur will have to choose from. Let us differentiate entrepreneur from ordinary businessman. Entrepreneur creates value by introducing new products or services or finding better ways of making them. While an ordinary businessman, the main objective is to simply to earn profit from producing, buying, and selling goods. And these are the essential to an entrepreneur's opportunity seeking, entrepreneurial mind frame, Heart Flame and Guide Game Entrepreneurial Mind Frame allows the entrepreneur to see things in a very positive and optimistic light in the midst of crisis or difficult situations. Entrepreneurial Heart Flame is about emotional intelligence or EQ, which is often manifested in the entrepreneur's effort to nurture relationships with customers, employees, and suppliers. Entrepreneurial gut game. This refers to the ability of the entrepreneur to sense without choosing five senses. What are the sources of opportunities? Number one is macro environmental sources of opportunities. Two, industrial sources of opportunities. Three, market sources of opportunities. Four, other sources of opportunities. Macro-environmental sources of opportunities involve the larger societal forces that influence the following. Socio-cultural, political, economic, ecological, and technological. So this word is speed. Socio-cultural factors represent a general view of a locality, traditions, customs, beliefs, norms and perceptions political factors are mostly induced by government policies and administrations which can have a strong effect in an entrepreneur's business economic factors are factors which are primarily caused by changes or movements in the philippine economy that have direct or indirect effects on the entrepreneurial venture ecological environment should be given much importance especially when the world has already suffered severely from human-induced calamities. Technological environment basically refer to the trends and developments in computer and information technology that have impact on business. In the industrial sources of opportunities, we have here the government, suppliers, customers, competitors, employees, and creditors. Government refers to the system or institution that handles the affairs of a particular country. We have here five types or classification of government, democracy, autocracy, republic, monarchy, and dictatorship. Suppliers refer to individual persons or companies that provide the required materials, parts, or services to the business. Criteria of selecting the supplier, quality of goods or services, 
ability to respond to urgent needs, proximity of the location, terms of payment, and stability. Customers are the buyers of goods or services produced or rendered by the business. It must constantly evaluate and study the behavior, taste, preferences, inclinations, and even future activities of the customers. Competitors are the forces existing in the industry environment that produce sale or render products or services which are similar to those of the business. Direct competitors produce and sell similar products or services. Indirect competitors produce and sell substitute products. Employees are the workers of the business who are highly responsible for the production of goods or delivery or the services of the customers. They help ensure the quality and quantity of the products or services provided to the customers. They are the backbone of the business. Creditors refer to banks, financial institutions, and financial intermediaries engaged in the lending of money to the borrower usually for fee or charge in the form of interest. Market sources of opportunities. The entrepreneur must also be able to measure the actual demand and supply as well as the potential demand and supply of the industry that the enterprise belongs to. Eight analysis types to identify market opportunities. Customer segmentation. To understand your demand, you must identify customer segments that share common characteristics. These are the age, gender, place of residence, educational level, occupation and level of income, lifestyle, attitude, values, and purchasing motivations. Purchase situation analysis always asks these questions. When do people buy our product or service? Is it when they need it? Where do people make the purchase? How do they pay? Direct competition analysis always asks these questions. What are the products and brands of our industry that are growing more significantly and why? What is their value proposition? What competitive advantage do we have over them? Analysis of complementary products and services. Companies should monitor the performance of other companies' products, which are complementary to their own. Analysis of other industries. In some cases, the objective of companies is not to continue operating within industrial sector, but to expand a certain business model or philosophy. Foreign Markets Analysis Always ask these questions. What is the percentage of people who use the smartphone to pay for their purchases? What is the market share of private labels in a certain industry? Environmental Analysis Market opportunities can also be identified by analyzing changes in the environment with technological and scientific developments generating new business opportunities. Other sources of opportunities, the entrepreneur's own of skills or expertise or hobby. New knowledge as well as new technology can be the source of innovative opportunities. Customer preferences change over time. People stays in clothes, music, shoes, entertainment, dance, sports, hobbies, and even career have involved over the years. What picks customer is a great source of opportunities. Before the customer is won over, first there is a battle for mind, next there is a battle for the heart, and finally, there is a battle for the wallet. The longer the customer wants to use the product, the greater the chances of creating lasting loyalty. Opportunities abound in shaping customer perceptions or occupying spaces in their minds or places in their hearts that have not yet been filled. New inventions, 
new system and work processes, and about the human psyche, no application for old knowledge. Determining personal preferences and competencies lay the foundation for a new business venture. Unexpected occurrences in both the external and internal environment of the enterprise indicate that the significant changes are happening and opportunities are spouting. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!